Hello, Jenny. Good evening. How are you? Hi. How about you? Okay. Have a little bit of a stomach flu, but eh, I'm okay. And Jenny, what are your plans for this weekend? Hi. I don't hear. What are your plans for this weekend? I... I stay in in house. Uh huh. I, you, I would... Yeah, I remember yesterday, forty five seconds, Jenny. You had to speak, and no, that's not an answer. <laughs> that's that's like uh -huh. that's nothing. Uh huh. That doesn't exist. Uh huh. I clean my house and read a book. <laughs> a book. I will read a book. And I prepare to to go into my my father's house. Okay. The, the, the next week. Next week you're going to go to your father's house. Yes. And where does your father live? They are living in Morazan. Okay. So you're going to go to Morasan for the August vacation? Yes. <laughs> I I think for one month. One month in Morasan. Wow, Jenny. Yeah. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. And Jenny, you don't work? No. Ah, okay. I don't, don't work now. Okay. Yeah, that's why you can go for one month to Morasan. That's good. You visit your family, spend time with them. Uh, did you uh, did you live in Morasan when you were young? Huh? Did I you think... live in Morasan? What? Did you live in Morasan? Yes, I live in Morasan for 15 years. 15 years. Wow. When you were a teenager or as an adult? Uh, as a teenager. Okay. <laughs> because I, I, after I went to study in San Miguel, mm -hmm. in the high school. And the, then I studied the university in San Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Very nice. Okay. And what about you, Sandra? It, where did you live when you were a teenager? I Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. <laughs> well, when I was a teenager, I used to live in Nehapa, but not exactly in the city, in but in the countryside. In and that uh, at that time that was very difficult time because of the guerrilla, and we have to go running out from there, you know. From Nehapa. Yeah, from from the yeah, a canton, a village. Ah, in Nahapa. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. And, and then, uh, well, I have to to come to San Salvador and began studying here, and then working. And my family, uh, all day went to live in Sonsonate. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And did you go to the Fireball Festival when you were younger? I didn't know about that festival. Really? It, it, didn't, it didn't exist uh, during my time. Yes, Sandra, the Fireball Festival exists for many years. Really? I yes. didn't know about that. It's like 50 years. 50 years? Well, or and I, will, I am, <laughs> and I will be 59 so uh -huh. let me see maybe, mm -hmm. maybe yeah that is why i don't remember that festival maybe maybe because uh-huh nehapa fireball festival mm -hmm. i'm trying to look for when uh when it started 
La uh -huh. bola de fuegos, right? Yes, of course. But uh, but uh, um, it is it is not and uh, not too much a long time ago it began. Well, it says a long time, but I'm not sure. It says in 1658. 16? In 1658 is the commemoration, but I don't know. 1658 but I don't know when it actually started, when they started to do the festival. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Yeah, only, only I remember that I went with my, my mother to the fair, a la feria, mm -hmm. of, that, of that town. I, I found and it. I, and, yes, and I was a friend of the fire rockets. Okay. Yes. That's what I remember. And, and we went to, like, uh, to... Uh, to ride Chicago and the Voladora one, okay. the flyer. You know? yeah. yeah. No, but when you were when you were born, they already had the festival. It says the festival started in 1922. 1922. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, where have I been? They, last year they celebrated 100 years. Oh, well, that is new for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical it's typical it's mm -hmm. like it's like in new york many people they are they are born in the u.s and they never visit the statue of liberty and many oh. salvadorians go to new york to visit the statue of liberty mm -hmm. oh yes <laughs> of course uh -huh. oh my God. Uh, well i see we have many people so we can go ahead and get started Excellent. Yesterday we finished our speaking. We had the practice. The important is that we had the idea for how long we have to speak for and prepare. Today we're going to begin the final chapter or the final unit, which is unit four. And this is the intro to the writing section. So now we're in section four, writing. And that's what we're going to begin with today. Uh, teacher, just a, a question. Yes. What about and what about uh, the 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 rec recording that we have to do? Uh, according to the to the platform, we have to do a recording there before yeah. before this section. Yeah, that one. Uh huh. We have to do it. The, the recording. There is no recording. Yes, yes, but uh -huh. over here says that that after the beep, we have to 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 think. 15 minutes and and then begin speaking 45 seconds but but this is uh, uh, the platform uh, uh will take it if, if we make the the recording no it is not necessary to do it in the platform there is no place to do it sandra okay, okay. you can you cannot record there is no place to to record only you can listen and that's it okay that's mm -hmm. what I'm uh -huh. I was afraid about. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, just... there is there is no audio. There is no part for you to record, and that's why if you check your grades, if you go to uh -huh. Progreso, uh -huh. and you're going to see speaking activity, no hay puntuación del problema de problemas en esta sección. That's why it's important to check your progress. Here you can see, okay. uh -huh, there is nothing for the speaking. There are no points. Uno uh -huh. dos. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. I like the idea. Uno, dos, uh -huh. tres, cuatro. All right. Mm -hmm. I like that it's in Spanish, not in English. That's what I like. You come to the English class, speak in Spanish. Uno, dos. Test it, test it. One, two, one, two. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. English. Uh -huh. I think he's having some problems, but okay. No. Oh. <laughs> No sé, no se ha enchufado un conector. Yancy, we can hear you. Yancy, nos escuchas. Nosotros te escuchamos. Yancy. Uno, uno. Yancy, nos escuchas. 
Ok, entonces el problema no. es el micrófono de... Ah, el... sí. Oh, Jansi. Sí. Pobrecito, no, Jansi. Poor Jansi. Jansi. Ok. Hopefully she can fix it. Yes. All right. So as I was mentioning today, we're going to begin section four. Ne we only have four more classes. Next week is the last week of class. And then you go to vacation for August. So today we're going to begin section four, the writing section. We'll now go over the last section of this course one, the writing section. Here we'll study challenges of writing, about the writing section, a type of question, writing practice. Okay. So the writing section is not on all TOEFL exams. Remember, the writing section is only in the TOEFL exam that is the big TOEFL, TOEFL IBT, TOEFL paper is not. This is the difference. The same for the speaking. The speaking is not in all the TOEFL exams. You have to be careful and you need to know why you're taking the TOEFL and what is the function for two reasons, the type of exam and the price. There are big difference between the type of exam and the price. It's okay? Okay. But what about IBT? How much is it IBT? $160, I think. Maybe $180. Oh, my God. And, and the ELT? The IELTS, it's a different exam. It's not TOEFL. It's a different exam. Ah, oh, different. Mm -hmm. And TOEFL, what that, for TOEFL example, uh, for teaching? IELTS are different. Uh, but for teaching, which one do we have to take? You need to take the small TOEFL exam. The small one, but, uh, but what is it? How is it called? TOEFL. TOEFL only? Yeah. Not IBT, ELT, for no, example. No, no, not the TOEFL, because the, the, the TOEFL in Centro Cultural, it only costs you something like 60 or $70, and it's a short exam. Ah. It's, it's only like two hours. So it's not, it, it doesn't have all the sections, and it is not as long as the normal TOEFL exam. Okay. Um, and what it does long. include? Hmm? Sorry. I'm sorry, and what uh, what include that TOEFL for teaching? Only the listening comprehension, grammar, and reading. Just three. Um, Just three. You don't have the speaking and you don't have the writing. But for um to get the scalafon, I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. Uh this the speaking section uh, is required, right? No. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I say you have to be clear what exam you need for what you're going to use for. Right? Okay. It's like the visas. You can have you can have a visa to the US, but you have to be clear what visa you need for your objective. Do you need a visa for student? Do you need a visa for tourism? Do you need a visa for business? Do you need a visa for family member? Do you, what visa do you need? The same for the TOEFL. It's not the same TOEFL. There are different TOEFLs. What TOEFL do you need depend on your objectives. But what about if someone wants to study at the United States, at the university in the United States, what kind of TOEFL do we have to do? The one that the university asks you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Just because the university can ask you for a specific type of TOEFL exam. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Some of the TOEFLs, some university accept both. Some of them accept one. Some of them don't accept any TOEFL and they only accept TOEIC. Some of them accept um, IELTS. Some of them don't. It depends. The university depends what is your career, what you're going to study. And the country. No. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. A little bit complicated. A little bit complicated. 
it's very that's why you <laughs> have to be very clear what is your purpose for the TOEFL exam is not an extra class it's an exam mm -hmm. you are not learning more you are only organizing your ideas and practicing what you know okay mm -hmm. that's why you have to be like Vanessa if you want to be a teacher you have to know what is the exam how much is the score what is the minimum you have different levels if you want to work for in uh, for different companies, some companies ask for a specific score, some ask for more. So you have to be clear what is the purpose of your exam. Uh, yes, because I know, as I know that for a scalafon or a certificate, mm -hmm. uh, they require for a um, for a, a specific point, but I don't remember how, how much point. Yes, if you need a scalafon, it's different than graduation because in the university many universities you can graduate with 500 points but it's uh -huh. you need 551 oh one, 551 mm -hmm. so you can graduate you can be licenciada in idiomas licenciada in English you can be licenciada maestra de but only the degree but you don't have a scalafon uh, correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so for the reason we need to take the TOEFL exam to get the scalafon. Correct. No, you needed to graduate from the university and you need the TOEFL for in order to have a specific score to get the scalafon. So if mm -hmm. you do the two in one exam is better. But if not, only you're going to graduate and you have to study again to do the exam to pass for the scalafon. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm hmm because I know a lot of people that they graduated, but they cannot get the scalafon because they didn't pass the test. Really? Yes. Yes. So they need to study again, as yeah. you mentioned. They they have their degree, but they cannot work in the public sector because they cannot work in any school because they don't have anything. They don't have the scalafon. Yeah. And in that way, they should uh, start studying English from the beginning or just to improve the weak areas? Uh, only the weak areas. They don't need to learn the alphabet and the ABC. You don't need that because in the exam, uh -huh. they ask you the ABCs. But for grammar, because the, the TOEFL includes, uh, includes a grammar section, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to begin section four, the writing. Let's take a look at the second video, the writing part. To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. So we mentioned one more time, listen, what do you need to improve? To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. Okay, so for this is very important. Do you write essays? In Spanish, do you write essays? Do you write short stories? Do you write journals? Do you do, you do writing in your life? Of course, I have done it. Yeah. I have to. I have to do it every every Sunday to prepare the class for my children at biblical school. Okay, good. Now the reason I ask is because most people never write. I have a good. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's true. Eighty-five percent of Salvadorians don't write more than the chats in the WhatsApp or Messenger. 85% of Salvadorians. Imagine, and only out of those, only 40% of Salvadorians write paragraphs because they have to write for their job. So this means that the majority of Salvadorians don't write. The majority of Salvadorians don't read. If it's not for their job, they don't read. This is very bad for your TOEFL. 
if you want to get a high score and you want to pass the first time, you need to study a lot because I know many people that they take the exam, take the exam, take the exam. They take the exam seven times and they don't pass. No se pueden graduar de la universidad. Imagine they can't apply for a scalaphone. They can't do anything. And it's a lot of money. The two, the time and the money. So if you have the opportunity, now begin writing, begin writing, begin writing. Once or twice a week, write two pages, Drrr, sit down and just begin writing, 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 because you're going to need to be able to organize, not like in the chats, in the chat, ah, eh, eh, you only put the letter, you only put the thing, ah, se, se aquí, ah, el, and then that's it, only select the words, no, in the, in the writing section, you don't have that option, only you have to write how is correct and the spelling, let's continue so we can see a little bit more, the final video here. The writing section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to write a standard academic English. There are two tasks of writing on the TOEFL test, one integrated and one independent. Okay, so what are the two types? All tests. One integrated and one independent. One independent. Okay, so what do you understand between integrated and independent? What do you think? What do you think that is? Integrated question is because we we use uh, several aspects. For example, reading, listening. And maybe writing or explaining or I don't know, something. Very good, Sandra. That is correct. The integrated is kind of like the speaking. In the speaking, you can speak about personal information. This is yes. the independent. And then there's the integrated speaking, like integrated reading. And you are going to receive an audio. You're going to receive a paragraph. You're going to receive input. And from this input, is not your opinion. You have to explain what, uh, what they are saying and the details and the examples that they give you. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. But it's good. It's good that you have the idea of what it is. Yes. So now we have both the integrated and independent type of writing. So we're going to practice a little bit of those. Okay. Yes. Yes. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah. Okay. So here is first part, the integrated questions. Let's take a look. What does it include and what do you have? We will now go over the last section of the TOEFL preparation course one, the writing section, integrated writing. Question one. Integrated writing, read, listen, explain. For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science, any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology, that deal with living organisms and their organizations, life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings their culture and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history, and philosophy. To begin with, your focus should... Okay, so just to be clear, these are the different topics that you have to write about. You have to write about sciences, social sciences, life sciences, physical science, and humanities. These are the four academic topics that they're going to ask you about. 
This is the integrated section. In matter. Oh Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings, their culture and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history and philosophy. To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form. Use points. So what does that mean? That means that when you are listening to the lecture, learn to take notes. Learn to take notes. Right? Many times I see you and I see most of you. And when we were doing the speaking and you only listen and nobody takes notes. It's okay. If you're going to remember everything, no problem. But it's easier if you put down important information or academic words that you can use. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Okay. So that means that you need to write in an academic form, not like WhatsApp, not like a short email. No, you need to write like when you were in high school, un ensayo. You need to write in this structure. Paragraph one, what is the main idea? What is the topic sentence? What are the supporting ideas? Paragraph two, what is the topic sentence? What are the supporting ideas? Paragraph three, what is the ideas? The conclusion, what is your conclusion? How do you summarize it? What is your introduction? You need to have just like in an academic form because it's for that level of English. It's for the level of being in a business. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Now, this I know is difficult because even in speaking for you, many times when I listen and I ask the question, you don't answer. You only say yes, no, uh-huh, and who? What, when, where, why, how? These are the ideas that you need to include in your answers for speaking and your answers for writing. They don't have to ask you why, how, who, when, and the same for speaking. They don't have to ask you, okay? So at the beginning of the class, for example, I, I, asked, one, I asked one person, ah, what are you going to do this weekend? And they said, I'm going to go to Morasan, okay? I'm going to read a book, okay? But they didn't answer the questions okay. for the academic purpose. If this was an exam, they wouldn't get a high score. Why? Because what didn't they include? They didn't include the important parts that we have to practice every day. Who? Who are you going to go? What are you going to do? Uh huh. What book are you going to read? When are you going to do that? When are you going to visit them? Where are you going to go? Why are you going to visit them? How are you going to get there? All of these different things you need to include in your answers. That's why it's important to begin also speaking long, 45 seconds, one minute for each question. Yancy, how are you? I'm okay. No, this is not an answer. Why are you okay? What did you do today? No, not that, ah, okay. How are you? Good. How was your day? Okay. And then, and, and then, and the answer, not explain anything. So remember, practice the same for the writing, like when we practice for our speaking. Practice long answers. The longer the answer, the easier it is when you have to do the exam. The shorter the answer, the more difficult when you have to give the writing. Your next task is to show how the lecture challenges or supports the reading. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. Now, let me repeat that because many people forget. Many people forget to do this. One moment. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Answer the exact question. Don't answer your ideas, general information. Oh, it's the topic. No, 
What question did they ask you? Did they ask you to compare? You compare. Do they ask you for details? You give details. Do they ask you why it's important? You explain why it's important. Did they ask you why the person doesn't support it? You explain that. You have to answer the questions. Why? Listen, this is then she's going to tell you why you have to do it in this way. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. Here. If you only write general, ah, you don't have a lot of points and you're not going to pass. You're not going to pass only general. Okay. Tell me about touristic places in El Salvador. And then I explain, oh, I was born in San Vicente and San Vicente is very nice. Um, there are many things to do there. In San Vicente, I can go to the park and it, this is not answering the question. I am explaining in El Salvador, but the question is describe touristic places in El Salvador or in your country. And then you need to give the examples. You need to have the outline. So you have to be careful not to not to lose the focus of what is the question. There are some key phrases you can use in your essay. Challenges the reading. Contest, dispute, query, question, doubt, mistrust, object, object to, protest, oppose, resist, defy, face. Supports the reading. Advocate, back, champion, confirm, bear out, corroborate, substantiate, validate, verify, vindicate, help, boost, support. Okay, so what are they giving you? They're giving you vocabulary to help you with your writing. If you are asked to challenge the reading or why you don't agree or why it's not correct, then you can use this. For example, the speaker opposes the Ah, then you begin this. Oh, uh, the speaker is you know, mistrust the government and that's why they don't support the new roadways or they call into question or they fail. All of these words are for the words that you don't agree or is for not agreeing. That is challenging. All of the words here are for when you support or you agree. Oh, um, they support, they validate, they confirm, they back. The, the new government, okay? Most Salvadorians, uh, they they confirm that the crime in El Salvador has gone down. Ah, these are the words that you use to support it, to say, yes, it's working. Validate, verify, vindicate, help, boost, support. Use verbs to indicate that you're summarizing. Suggest, say, report, tell, argue, Question, ask, conclude. So what did the speaker say? Well, the speaker argues that, the speaker said that, the speaker told us that, the speaker suggests that that's the words that you use. If you're asked to summarize what the speaker said, you can use these words, okay? So what did he say? Oh. He reported that uh, climate changes, and then you begin according to whatever it is. Okay. It's okay, the integrated questions? Yes. Don't worry, it takes time and it takes practice. It's time and practice that we do it, okay? Yes. So the, the idea is that we're going to practice right now and you are going to do an integrated question. Okay. Before we begin our integrated questions, um, does anybody have any questions, anything that they're not sure about, anything that they didn't understand? Okay. Um, I have a question. We always have to use the W and how questions. You have to answer them. Answer. Okay. Who, yes. what, when, where, and why? Yes. Try to use as many of those in your answers. Okay. Yes. What are you going to do this weekend? Oh, for me? <laughs> yeah, Vanessa. You are the only Vanessa. No hay otra. Yeah. <laughs> 
What are you gonna um, do? Okay, can you repeat the question, please? Of course. What are you going to do this weekend? Okay, this weekend I'm going to visit. Um, I'm going to visit a specific uh, place that is located in Chalatenango uh, because um, we have some families over there and as well. And what? And... <laughs> okay, don't worry. That's why we practice, Vanet. That's why we practice. Now, do you mm -hmm. say we? Who is we? Who is we? We have over there. Quien es we? Ah, what is the name of the place? What are you going to do there? Why are you going to go there? How are you going to get to that location? That is what you need to put in your answer. So even when you're speaking, if you apply the same for the speaking and the same for the writing, you're going to get a good score. But if you speak and you speak the small, ah, how are you? Bien, gracias. Y tú? You are not going to pass. You are not going to graduate. You are not going to get the application or the scholarship. You need to make sure that you always try to answer as many WH questions. What, why, where, when, how. Okay. Try to answer as many of them as you can. It's not obligation to answer all of them because some of them are not important. But you want to include as many answers as possible. Okay. Okay. Now, the other part is how long should your writing be? Your writing, you should try to aim for about 200 words. You should try to go and try to make 200 words in your writing. What is 200 words? 200 words is approximately half a page. So when you are writing, imagine you are writing it's usually in Word or in the document, the format is usually half a page of writing. It's okay how much writing? Yes. 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 Now you can have less. It's okay. You can have less than 200, but you want to be able to try to practice trying to get 200 so that you have enough words and enough so that they can evaluate. If you don't have enough words, if you don't have minimum 150, you lose points because it's not enough because you have 20 minutes for the writing. How much time do you have? 20. 20, exactly. So now we're going, yes, Jefferson. Uh, teacher, how long do we have to do the writing part? 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So depend, depend on the type of question, um, this is how long you're going to have. Mm -hmm. So sometimes depend the question you're, you're going to you're not going to have the integrated or not integrated, but more or less. Okay. So how can you think about it? You're going to have, um, usually you're going to have uh, three tasks. Okay. Usually two. Um, I think if I remember correctly, it was two, two written tasks. And in total, you have about 50 minutes. If I remember correctly, mm -hmm. that's the important part. And why two? Because you have two types of questions, right? We have the integrated and we have the independent. And you have to do a writing for each one. And you have to think that you have approximately 20 minutes for each writing task. Today, we're going to practice one because we are going to practice for 20 minutes. We're going to have the 20 minutes and we're going to write it. You can write here. We're going to take a look right now so we can do it together. Okay. Jenny, can you please read the instructions? Read the following passage. Next, you listen to an audio clip of a professor giving a letter of the song topic at the of the passage. Finally, you will have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay 
Oh, it's about 150 and 225 words. This essay must summarize the points made in the letters and explain how they support or challenge what's written in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion for this text. At the end, you will send your essay to your teacher. So he, she checks it and grades your essay. Right. So here, the important, you will not write your own opinion. I don't want to see your opinion. No, no your opinion. Oh, I agree. I disagree. No, they are not asking your opinion. So as you can see, you have to be fast. You have to read, you have to listen, and you have to write in 20 minutes. It's clear the instructions. Because we are going to make partners and you have to write. And you have 20 minutes to write. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's try it then. Let me put 20 minutes, read, listen, and write at least minimum 150 words.
Mm. So we're supposed to listen. No, no, not listen. To well, yeah, listen. Uh, to listen to the audio, and then we need to make an essay. Hi, teacher. Will we send the essay to you? No, you will not. You will only write it, and then we will check to see how many words you have. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. But it's just about this part of teacher, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It says you need to either support or challenge what is in the passage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try it. If you like to, you can open a Word document because in Word it automatically comes. Okay, let's play this. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Being able to communicate using language is one of our human species' most important abilities. Some scientists claim that apes, like humans, also use languages. There are many studies into ape acquisition of language, some famous, such as the Coco studies, but are these animals really acquiring language? We really haven't done enough research to address the question of how and when humans started using language, but we can compare human and ape communicative abilities to determine whether the claims about ape language are valid. First, for behavior to be called language, it must be communicative. In other words, the signers must be able to use language creatively. They should be able to take turns in conversation, must sign spontaneously rather than as a response to drilling or coercion, and must be able to comment on interesting phenomena. If you think about what the apes have accomplished in communicating, these criteria have not been met. However, according to the proponents of ape communication, Yeah, I am the mm -hmm. part. Okay. Yeah, you can read at your own speed. Don't worry. I'm I'm reading on my end too because we're we're supposed to all like do it individually. So yes. Okay. Did you guys finish listening the audio?
Okay. We have only 20 minutes to to compose the short design. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. You only have 10 minutes. 10 you, minutes. Okay. <laughs> yes. You already you already used 10 minutes. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, how many paragraphs? Uh, how many paragraphs does uh, our essay uh, have? It should always be a minimum of three paragraphs. Three paragraphs. Oh, yes, okay. always a minimum of three. Remember, it's like uh, beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, like introduction, the the paragraph, the body, the and the conclusion. Body. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
We'll now go over the last section of this course one, the writing section. Here we'll study challenges of writing, about the writing section, a type of question, writing practice. To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. The writing section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to write standard academic English. There are two tasks of writing on the TOEFL test, one integrated and one independent. We will now go over the last section of the TOEFL preparation course one, the writing section, integrated writing. Question one. Integrated writing, read, listen, explain. For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science, any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology, that deal with living organisms and their organizations, life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings their culture and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, 
the arts, history, and philosophy. To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form. Use points. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Your next task is to show how the lecture Okay. Did you finish? No. <laughs> no. Don't worry. It's normal. The first time that you practice is normal not to finish because you don't have the pressure in the real life. You don't have the pressure. Hey, 20 minutes. Tengo que leer, escuchar. But in here, the 20 minutes finish. You finish or not finish, the exam closed. So it's important to learn to monitor your time. Learn to monitor the time. Don't worry. We're going to practice more writings on Monday. Right now, you go home, relax. You are have your dinner, watch TV, and then we begin on Monday again. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.